Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on Cobbler's Vlogs and I can't tell you how good it feels to be able to come and sit in this chair after a Cobbler's win. It's been a long time coming, it's taken us four or five games but finally the Cobblers have got a win on the board. They've just beaten Gillingham by three goals to one at six fields. It was a scrappy game, the Cobblers took their chances when it counted and uh, a fantastic win. Let's talk about what happened and what went so right for the Cobblers. So as we know this season, Keith Curl probably hasn't yet found his best 11 still, but I think he's found his best striking partnership. He's tried a lot of combinations up top, hasn't he? He's tried Rose and Smith, Ashley Seal and Smith, Chukwamika and Smith, Chukwamika and Rose, Rose and Ashley Seal, and Rose and Ashley Seal. That's the one, that's the one that's worked, and it worked very well tonight. Uh, the first one was... Um, Rose charging into the penalty area, got himself a penalty, I think it was a definite penalty, I think it was a soft one to give away from a Gillingham point of view, a stupid challenge really. Um, yeah, Rose got himself the penalty and Sammy Hoskins put it in uh, nice and, well I say calmly, absolutely blasted it home didn't he, so fair play to Sam Hoskins for that one. Uh, in addition to that, this cobbler's second goal came from a Danny Rose rebound, Benny Ashley still got to the byline, cut back, had a shot, uh, saved by the keeper, and Rose just sort of slid in, got his studs to it, and slid it home to make it 2-0 to the Cobblers. And then a questionable decision came where Gillingham were given a free kick for handball or something on the edge of the Cobblers area, uh, which made it 2-1 at half-time. Carl Dempsey, it was a superb free kick, although it did, I think, go through the wall, which, you know, is something that you could question from a Cobblers point of view, but who cares? Because then in the second half, Alan Sheehan put in a beauty of a free kick from a wide position. And you know what they say from those sort of free kicks? You curl them into that sort of corridor of uncertainty, get them on target, because if nobody gets a touch, it will probably go in. Um, and it did go in. It looked like Kian Bolger flicked it on, but the goal's been given to Sheehan. Uh, watched it back as well, and it does look like it is Sheehan's goal. So yeah, fantastic for Sheehan to get a goal. And how good was it to see uh, Sheehan back in that Cobblers 11? So... Um, Brings so much quality at the back, brings that leadership, um, brings that experience, got a level head as well. Um, McWilliams back in the team was fantastic to see as well. Lloyd Jones had uh, recently signed for the Cobblers as well, actually signed for him about, I don't know, an hour before kickoff is when it was sort of released uh, that he'd signed for us. And he went straight into the starting eleven and was solid at the back. We didn't see much of him last season. Uh, we saw him today and he, he was solid uh, as anyone. The midfield were good. Sowerby, I was impressed with. Ashley Seal, what a man he is. Um, he's been absolutely, well, not great this season, has he? Um, you can't really, I don't think you can really argue with that, but really impressive tonight. Chased everything down, showed, showed us his pace as well. And him up front with Rose, I think they really worked off each other really, really well. So a positive team selection, and this could be the best 11. Adams and Hoskins at wing backs are the best options to have there. And then bringing Harriman on a sensible substitution, uh, taking off Adams, he might be a bit tired, a bit leggy. I think that was a sensible move from Keith Curl. Maybe not so sensible to bring Fraser Hall's fall on, but never mind. Uh, Alan Sheehan had a fantastic game nevertheless. And uh, I think every single person that was subbed off would have got a standing ovation from uh, the whole of six fields um, if they were there which unfortunately they weren't um, but yeah really impressive great management decisions from curl tonight great team selection uh, great overall performance Gillingham weren't anything special they created a couple of chances but they weren't really anything uh, too special and that kind of showed um, in terms of their league position for Dane Oliver came one in the second half and luckily wasn't great um, as we were all dreading a Vidane hat trick or something. So yeah, really, really good performance. So much better. Great to have a smile on my face as well, coming here and sitting and talking to you rather than just moan, 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 moan. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with that and a great way to see out 2020. As I said, lots of positivity to end the year on. We've got loads coming up for you. Uh, there's just two days left, isn't there, of 2020 before we move into 2021. And we've got loads of content. If you head over to our Twitter tomorrow, which is Wednesday the 30th of December, uh, we're doing the Cobblers Vlogs Awards on there. You're going to be able to vote for a range of things. Cobblers Goal of the Year, Cobblers Player of the Year, Cobblers Game of the Year, all that sort of stuff. You're going to be able to vote for that on our Twitter account. So make sure you're following us. Our link is in the description to our Twitter. Also on Instagram as well. So make sure you're following us on there. So we're going to have the Cobblers vlogs award on there we're also going to have a subscriber of the year award one of you are going to be winning that so make sure you're following our twitter to see who wins that one as well so yeah lots of stuff coming up we've also got a special video uh, that i've made for you um coming up on new year's eve which is kind of a roundup a look back on 2020 uh, you may have heard BBC Northampton's Mark Weather has done a radio documentary. Um, I haven't had a chance to listen to that yet, but I've heard that it's really, really good. So make sure you go and listen to that. I'm sure it'll be somewhere on the BBC Sounds app. Um, if it is, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. So you've got my uh, New Year's Eve video coming up, uh, looking back at 2020 for the Cobblers. You've got Mark Weather's coming up as well. So make sure you check out 
all that good stuff. So yeah, lots of positivity tonight for the Cobblers. I just want to end the video by saying a massive thank you to our partners, FanHub, who sent me this mug earlier. Really, really nice with their logo on it. They've been our new partners since the summer of 2020. So there'll be a link in the description to go and sign up for FanHub, which is the football app, which is rewarding you, football fans, for your loyalty. So go and have a look at FanHub. They're looking to put fans first Fan hub link in the description. Go and check them out. So yeah, fantastic win to end the year um, for the Cobblers. If I don't see you until the new year, which I probably won't, uh, I hope you all have a fantastic um, New Year's Eve celebration. Uh, make sure you stay as safe as possible, of course, and, and within all, all the rules that are about. But yeah, have a fantastic new year. Uh, please do hit a like on the video, hit subscribe, and until 2021, I'll see you later. Bye bye.